Hello, my name is Scott for Raspy Gaming. We are back here in City Skylines. It is the city of Charleston, and I am taking a look at this rail overpass because it looks like we have another problem. Yes, indeed. Looking at this here, we have a lot of trains, and as you can see, they are not moving. They are not moving at all. Basically what's happening is these are being blocked. This this guy is trying to go into here to drop off cargo. This guy is obviously trying to go the same way. Actually no, he's trying to go that way. Or bother. Not yet. So he's trying to go through the bypass. But, no one can move because this one is trying to go that way. This train can't go because it's being blocked by this guy, which is transporting cargo to that train terminal. So yeah, it's trying to transport it to my cargo station there. This one is trying to go as we see here that way it can't because well this train which is trying to go here like that no it's what <laughs> okay <laughs> so that train is trying to go over here and yeah, we got a big mess here. And I did, uh, where is it? Right here. I did add a bypass here. An underground tunnel that goes underneath the train station. But it may be, check this one here. Yeah, that one's trying to go that way as well, but as we see, it's not exactly blocking anything. So this here is going to be an issue. What I am going to do, uh, owner canes, yeah. We are just going to remove that vehicle. And that should yeah, allow that train to go, which allow that one to move, which should allow that one to move. And hopefully this one goes, yes indeed. Oh, no, it doesn't. Alright. That one looked like it did something weird. But now everything's blocked once again. Well, no, not quite. Yeah. So this train obviously is wants to go to the train station over here. So unfortunately, we have some issues. Yes indeed, we are going to have to sort this out. And what I just might do... Two overeducated workers... You know what? I am going to dezone these. And what I'm going to do is add a second train route. We're just going to destroy these as well. And so I don't have anything else zoned here. That's good. All right. So we are going to have to obviously take care of this and What I'm probably going to do is I'm going to split this off here. And yet, yeah. oh bother. If you know something a little bit different, I ended up removing all of the trees. <laughs> I just got rid of them all. Um, I didn't quite like them. And what I did painstakingly for probably a couple hours 
is place down trees along areas, places where they would make sense. I believe I was going to make this a path in, or path over here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade this. Uh, we want tree lines, yep. Without zoning. That, so that, yeah, that works for me. And what did I, what did I just do? Oh, bother. Alright, so did, I, did that mess things up? Enable lane control, yes it did. You do not want to go that way. Alright. So, with that done, um, where was that? Yes, over here. <laughs> but yeah, I wanted to put in trees. They didn't. The tree brush, while it's good for forested, large forested areas, it, it was not so good for making things look natural. It was, it was a random splatter of trees, but it was too even too evenly random if you if it makes sense of course it doesn't make sense why would it make sense so what i'm <laughs> going to do is uh yeah i'm going to first of all what i may do is do a tunnel from here And train, rail, and can I, yeah, I can. Oh, that's silly. do is like that and then no I'm going to Straight down to about there, and then we are going to come to about that, nope, like that, and then. Okay, so what I'm going to want to do is that's a metro line. Oh bother. Alright, so I am going to want to bulldoze that and that. come down one more level to about there then I'm gonna come up well it's gonna be slope issues right there and seriously
right there. Really? Oh, that's... Yeah, I don't like that. to do then. Oh, that's, that's annoying. Alright, so, tunnel. Drop of this like that, like that. Back up there, like that. And if we is that going to Yep. Although, did the uh, trains... Yeah, they probably despawned. <laughs> Alright, so... Now, we just... Uh, train. Go down one level. Space already occupied. going to run that for a bit and one of the problems I've been I was having was I did have a lot of trains backed up here I did decide to do a tunnel for there just to make it a little bit cleaner and I was thinking of putting a tunnel through here although at the moment I haven't really decided Tunnels definitely do clean things up, although with this metro here, that might be a little bit of a... Anyway, the only problem with this is that now they can't get to this. don't believe I need this anymore. And I get rid of that. Alright, so I have to here to here, which is for basically, um, passenger rail and can I space already occupied really all right so can I like this straight down stop too steep something like that 
<laughs> that could work. It looks a little weird, but, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Another thing I can do is I can uh, split this off. Hopefully that will be good. I'm going to have to clean this up and sort things out. Because I really don't like that. That just looks horrible. <laughs> There's a bypass there. But, uh, yep, so another thing I'm planning to do. And when I was doing all this off screen, I end up running the time, and we have gone up to Metropolis. 46,000 people. So I do have a new area that I can purchase. At 60,000 people, we will be able to get all of these tiles opened for us. We'll also be able to build monuments, but I don't like the monuments. They are just, I wouldn't say game breaking, but they kind of kill any, what's the word? Kill any challenge to the game. Because I think it's what the Eden Project completely eliminates all pollution. The Hadrian Collider makes everyone super educated. Of course, the problem with that is that you have no educated or uneducated people to work in forestry and all that. So what I'm going to do right now is buy me another tile, which is probably going to be this one. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be that one. And I had planned ahead. As you can see, I've built a few more roads. So this is going to come out like this. And I plan to have a community out here. I will probably take advantage of this, uh, some of this to build some agriculture. Actually, ooh. Yeah, what I probably do is build uh, some farming over there. Probably make this a small farming community once I'm able to purchase that tile. Which is actually only another 14,000 people. So we could get there. There's another one. Another decent farming area. But my goal basically is to demolish this agriculture. My goal is to expand the downtown core out this way as well as out this way and yeah I definitely have a lot of space so I can definitely definitely do it so basically yeah this is all going to go bye bye pretty much garbage trucks <laughs> probably be relocating this uh, rail station because it really doesn't serve any more purpose and what is is this getting much use well there's only three of them <laughs> four of them so no it's not really getting much use still and we still have yeah this backup mess one thing I did over here to try to solve the traffic issue is with the lane control I basically prevented left turn traffic from coming in here and I prevented right turn traffic from coming in here so any industrial traffic coming this way will have to come up in here any traffic coming this way will have to come up here Hopefully it will provide some smoother access, although this is going to still be an issue. Yeah. 
Yes, of course it's going to be. What I might want to do is just ignore it. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to ignore it because I have other more important things to do. And uh, so this is all gone. And although I don't have any specific information on it, I do believe that your fertile land does exhaust after a little while. As we are seeing here, like this is rather light. I would have probably never built my agriculture here. And as we can see over... Didn't we have decent agriculture over here? Seriously. If you remember... In a previous episode, I checked, and this was bright yellow fertile land for some reason. Now it's like almost nothing. Interesting. Yeah, like there's fertile land right in here. Anyway, perhaps this will come back in time, but... Yeah, I believe that this was decent land at least. At one point it was. Not anymore. <laughs> but that is no real concern. Alright. All this is getting moved. It has been done. Oh, are they not getting electricity? Indeed they are not. <laughs> okay, well, how about that? And that's not getting electricity either. So what I'm going to do... Uh, yeah, I don't want to bring the... Uh, Power. Over to here. And then... That's right. For now, I'm just going to have the power plugged there. Water should actually be pretty good. Alright, so. Depending on what I plan to do with this. Hmm. Yeah. Alright, so. Time to come over here and plan out an agricultural area. First of all, we're going to want to have this on, and yeah, I won't be able to uh, until I buy that plot of land. I believe it's, yeah, I can just buy that one tile. That should be good. All right, do I want to do farming over here, or do I just want to wait till that's available? Yeah, I'm going to wait. <laughs> Alright, so... Do I want to do anything with this? Is that really down in a hole like it is? Interesting. Alright, so what else am I going to do? Plan out downtown? Might as well. Um, 
<laughs> Don't want to touch that. I'm going to upgrade this to two lane. Or not two lane. Bring this in like this. Yep, that, that'll be a main route. Straight over to here. Like that, that should be good. And now we are going to want to obviously subdivide this. this a four lane actually it's a one way okay about that <laughs> and upgrade that it will also connect that onto that although new Ooh. really giving me bad zoning. Alright, that's better. <laughs> Bring this to here. So that to there. And yeah, I was going to f fix this. Oh, that's nasty. That is nasty. So I'm just going to bring this up to here for now. So I have this to subdivide, this to subdivide, and my goal is to add a lot more commercial in around here. Possibly some office space in this, and maybe some residential in here, all depending. Yeah, I do have a large bulk of my residential here probably build some more residential here commercials and offices along here and uh, yeah I will probably simply because this where is this one going it's going into Yep, I'm going to uh, get rid of this. No longer going to have the rail station there. And I can also move the rail line because I no longer actually need it to go this way. And, of course, turn that off. 
And even better would be to just uh, disconnect it completely. So I'm probably going to want to Yeah, we're going to also get rid of this interchange as well. Probably set something up with the... Alright. And yeah, I'm probably going to... Hmm... I may do a proper inter interchange here. I haven't yet decided, but I think that is going to be it for today. And I'm probably going to take a few moments to plan out where exactly I want to have things. And then come back for another round of this. <laughs> because this is definitely not working how I'd like it to. Although this kind of collector transition... Yeah, how about that? <laughs> With this gone, this actually cleans things up and if I wanted to, I could probably underground tunnel this. I could also... Yeah, I could also underground tunnel this. It would clean things up. Anyway, that's uh, probably more than I'd want to do. So far, I don't know. I, I kind of like this bridge. Although I'm not really... Yeah, anyway. That is going to be it for me today. Thank you for watching this episode of City Skylines. Where we, yeah, got rid of the agricultural sector. And with plans, obviously, to rebuild it. That was there from fairly early on in the series, so it's sad to see it go away, but it needs to make room, of course, for the downtown high-density area. Anyway, thank you again for watching. My name is Scott for SP Gaming, and as always, have a good day. <laughs>